I'll give you a little update here on the MikePelusaOutdoors.com. Uh, fishing, you know, pre-fishing for the AIM Weekend Walleye Series uh, National Championship. Uh, we've been really trying to figure out a good game plan here. And, uh, you know, we're finding some fish, and we found some good fish. Um, we're finding some numbers in a few spots, but, you know, it's it's one of those deals on, on a river like this. It's There isn't many secrets, so it's hard to... It's hard to judge in time as far as where you want to go, and a lot of it's going to determine what number we get drawn. So uh, we're going to keep plugging away here. This is our last day of practice. We've been here for uh, four days now. It's, uh, we've got some nice fish, but um, still trying to get our get our game plan together for for uh, for uh, Friday and Saturday. So we'll see what happens. Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, day one of the AIM National Walleye uh, Championship Tournament here today, uh, down here in Red Wing, Minnesota, uh, off the Mississippi River, pools three and four. Uh, we've been down here since Monday. We start practicing about 6 a.m. Monday morning, and you know, we've had a pretty good week. I'm not gonna complain about our fishing. We've caught some nice fish all week. Uh, not a ton of them, but again, you know, you never stay in your spots when you're pre-fishing. Uh, the one thing I will say, it's kind of an interesting scenario. I know it's only a 30 volt field, and. For us, we drew boat number 30, which, uh, you know, you look at it for day one, yeah, we're the last boat uh, to get the go out today, and there are some real key areas that we'd like to have got to first, but it is what it is. We're not going to get to those first, and we understand that now, but day two, um, you know what, I, I think everybody understands that it is a river, it's a small area, it's uh, first come, first serve, so hopefully we can survive the day. Uh, put together a decent bag and uh, go out and swing for the fence tomorrow. I mean, that's kind of our game plan right now because, again, a lot of this stuff is going to be tough for us to get to uh, being that we're both dirty. Not not that we can't get there because we're, we're not fast enough, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it's going to be simply because we need to figure out a way to, to survive the day because, again, it's key spots, key areas. So I uh, look forward to uh, reporting back here a little bit later, and we'll let you guys know how, how it goes. We switched around or is it good? other walleye organization fishing related that I know of so we appreciate that give yourselves all a big hand for that as you guys all know we are an angler owned uh, organization and we try to run it that way we look out for you guys we always try to put you in the best possible scenarios we can uh, obviously there's hiccups along the way but we never intentionally put you in a situation that you don't want to be in, um, like we've experienced in other areas. You guys, we treat you like customers because that's what you are. I just got a couple things to clean up here and then I'm gonna turn it over to uh, Danny for the actual rules meeting. We are filming an actual episode of Larry Smith Outdoors the next two days around this tournament, okay? We will have a boat in each pool, pool three and pool four, uh, we'll have two 208 Yamaha Power Warriors running around. One is mine, it's wrapped NFG. Uh, the other one is the Garmin boat tomorrow, uh, for sure. It'll be a different boat on Saturday, but it'll still be a 208 with the Yamaha Power. So, I need some help from you guys. I want to make you heroes through all this. Please look me up when we're done with this. I need an idea of what you're on, what to look for. Uh, this is my home waters, obviously, I can find you. It's all confidential, it's not going anywhere. Uh, I just need to get the best possible things I can on film and make you guys here. Mike is no stranger to uh, a little bit of pressure, right? He used to be a former hockey player in the NHL, right? Pressure's five kids in a mortgage. Five kids in a mortgage? That is the five kids? Oh, I don't think that's All right. <laughs> So, tell me a little bit about your day. Well, you know, again, we talked about yesterday, we swung for the fence today, we stayed in the spot that we got a lot of professional gears. Fishing different tournaments, uh, Jeff Richard got the biggest fishing practice there, just shy of 27 inches, uh, 
You know, we felt like it could happen faster if the fish went in for whatever reason they didn't want to come in there. You know what, here's a grind. It was fun. My hat goes off to you guys that did catch it. Congratulations. That's impressive. All right, North Dakota was new to us. Um, you guys enjoying this? Is it your goal to get back to this tournament next year? Oh, no, no. You know, we want to be Jeff and I want the uh, team here in North Dakota. We're going to battle hard against so We'll try to get back to the Congratulations on that. That's not an easy feat. We love the growth we're seeing over there. We're excited about that. We plan on staying there. So you guys did bring in five fish today. Looks like you got a 13 incher, 14 and three quarter, a 13 and a quarter, 18 and a half, and a 21 incher. I got all kinds of stuff going on here. For a total weight of 8.88 pounds today. I know this isn't what you guys wanted. Mike, you've been through this for a lot of years. You and I fished the PWT together way back when. Don't regroup. Yeah, you know, it's fishing. You're going to have a good day to enter back. Uh, the unfortunate part for us, Jeff, like all this, we had way better days in practice. We never had a day, a day like we had yesterday or today. But, you know, things are changing. The current's changing. The fish are We want to be able to track them down. Thoughts on this, Jeff? Well, I learned a lot, a lot this weekend. Uh, chub fishing, we went chub fishing a couple of nights, and that was fun. And, yeah. And really, I, I never chubbed a, a willow cat you know, before, so it was a learning experience. Thanks for all the hospitality, everybody. Appreciate it. All right. Speaking of willow cats, thanks, gentlemen. We've got a little story we'll get to a little bit later on willow cats. Thank you. By the way. Quick little recap, uh, kind of of our whole deal here uh, during the AIM National Walleye Championship. Uh, those were up go for us. I mean, we had a good free fish, but uh, when it came tournament time, it was tough for us. We uh, were not able to really, uh, you know, basically get into the spots that we wanted to fish without creating problems, I guess, so to speak. We drew number 30 day one, uh, got down to two of our spots that we wanted to fish, and there boats were literally spot on a spot, which made it kind of tough. And, you know, it is what it is. It's fishing. We've been part of that many times over, but uh, all in all, it was a fun uh, fun event. Uh, the National Walleye, uh, AIM Walleye deal is a pretty special thing, so hopefully uh, Jeff and I can uh, qualify it for this event once again, but we're just sitting here waiting for uh, the, the big show to uh, take place here. We'll get some video of that and share it as well, so. Thanks for following. It's been, uh, I'm tired as you can probably tell, but uh, it's been a good weekend. So thank you.